Hello and welcome back to another episode of World Tour on Football Manager 2021. Now, since our last episode, we have played three games off camera. We have defeated Gokulam Kerala by two goals to nil, thanks to a goal from Said Suhail Pasha, our right winger, and Reno Shalil, who is a 16-year-old striker that managed to make an appearance in this game and scored, a, scored on his debut. So that, that's something to look forward to for the future, if we remain here for longer than a couple of seasons. We then played against Churchill Brothers. We lost this one 5-3. Just so many goals being scored at the moment. I don't understand where all this is coming from. So we were 1-0 down very early on after five minutes. Saba grabbed an equaliser to make it 1-1. They then went 2-1 up. We equalised again to make it 2-2. We then went ahead and made it 3-2. But then it just, it just, we just collapsed. We absolutely collapsed and ended up losing the game 5-3. And then the game that I've just played was against Northeastern FC and that was a, a very boring nil-nil draw. But in today's episode, hopefully we're going to have some entertaining matches. We've got the game against today of Delhi FC to play, who are currently fifth, and the game against Azor FC, who are tenth. We are sitting in fourth position in the league. We have seven points from five games, halfway through the first stage of the season. There are a few teams below us who can catch us and possibly go above us with their games in hand, so we have to make sure that we keep winning to give us the best chance to get into the qualification group or the championship group of the the league when it splits up now we have a few players who are lacking in conditioning to to start this game today so there, there's going to be a, a few changes to be made so maria dasan is going to come in for felix nixon we need to find someone else at center back this guy he's one of our youngsters actually 16 year old center defender looks pretty decent with his technical attributes it's, it's a bit much to put him in to, to start a league game but uh, I don't really have much of an option so in comes Samping Raj for Ahmed Sahib at centre back then we need to find three centre midfielders to replace our current centre midfielders so who shall we go with we've got VJN there we could possibly choose him who else have we got we've got Lennon Mithran who was pretty decent if I remember rightly yeah he can come in as the advanced playmaker in place of Mather and then we TK Rose is injured and I don't think he played well in the one game that I, I played him in. Legio Francis can play at centre midfield. So I think that could be an option. We have VJN, who's not really great at much. And then Suse Demai, who I might play him in a box-to-box, a -box, I guess. He can come in for Anandraj. And then VJN can be our ball-winning midfielder for today. Everyone else looks completely fine in their condition so we will head into the game and hopefully pick up another win against Sudeva Delhi FC so team talk time we are gonna not outstretch our arms because we can't say the thing that I wanted to say we are gonna pump our fist and say we're favorites for a reason go out there and make sure they're left in no doubt as to why and it seems to have motivated Kieran Das at the very least well, highlight this first half there. Not as entertaining as uh, I was hoping for. We, we've, we've both had three shots. They've had two on target. We've had one on target. But we are expected goals is slightly better than theirs. Let's do the team talk and say that we're expecting more, I think. Um, where's that option? I'll just say I'm not, not happy with the performance out there. Let's have a look, see how everyone is doing. Condition-wise, Ashley Collier is looking like he might need to be taken off in the second half. Uh, the match ratings aren't too bad apart from Pasha's is awful at 6.3 he's going to come off Lizio Francis is going to come on at right wing in place of Suhail Pasha and Kumar Singh not having the best of times in goal either on a 6.5 but we'll we'll leave it there as I said we'll probably bring Collie off in the second half unless his uh, his condition improves which I doubt it will because he's going to be obviously using more of his energy Okay, so Collie has dropped into the red zone for his condition, and so he's going to come off. The question is, do we take Saba into left wing and then bring on a striker? I think that's what we're going to do. Saba is going to move into left wing. Collie coming off, and we will bring on, I think, Singh Pandre. It's probably our best option of the two between him and Kumar. So we'll bring him in uh, and see how we get on. It's nearly full time. I don't know why I'm making this change, but... I'm, I'm going to make it anyway and it's going to be Samping Raj coming off just because of his condition and we'll we'll bring on one of our, our normal starting players Ahmed Sahib and think it looks like it's going to be another 0-0 draw to be honest yeah, unless we get a highlight in injury time which doesn't look likely 
There's the full time whistle. Another boring nil nil draw. How disappointing. And I'm I'm gonna thrash my arms and say I expect to see you all in training tomorrow. You don't deserve a rest after that performance. So that actually, that result knocks us out of the championship qualification places down to seventh. We're still level on points with a few teams that are in the, the qualification places, but we only have four games left in our season. So we need we need to make sure that we that we win the next game against Azol. Just ahead of the Azol game, we get this lovely little news item to tell us that Saeed Suhail Pasha has won the National Football League or the Hero I League Young Player of the Month award. Well done him. Um, he, he didn't have the best of times in the last game I was thinking about leaving him out for the, the game against Ezol but I, I think I might give him another shot so you'll see from the league table on the right hand side of your screen we have somehow climbed up to 6th place in the league despite not playing a game so I'm not really going to complain we are on 11, 11 points I wish we were on 11 points we're on 8 points we are 3 points behind Kashmir FC who are on 11 points. The team that we're playing today are rock bottom of the league on two points. So you can pretty much guarantee that they're probably going to thrash us 4-0. But we, we'll, we'll see what we can do. If we win today, we can move up to fifth place above Kashmir, but obviously they will have their game in hand on us. So let's make that change. I, I had already moved Francis in in place of Suhail Pasha right wing, but we'll, um, we'll make that change back now. So this is our lineup for the game against Azor. We have Kumar Singh and goal as always. Back four reverts back to our best back four, Balakrishnan, Felix Nixon, Ahmed Sahib, and Kieran Das. Charles Anandraj, Varun Mada, and Suryan Bhupathi return in the center of midfield. And then Suhail Pasha, as I said, is at right wing. Ashley Colley at left wing. And Christian Sabah up front. Hopefully, we can pick up a victory and not have a third boring nil-nil draw in a row. And something interesting from Azor's team sheet. No, I'm not talking about the name that's clearly missing from this team sheet. I'm assuming that person has a name. Yeah, why is his name not there? Uh, another another error with this game. There's a few more that they've just got in invisible. The invisible man's returned, but he's brought some backup this time. But the point that I was going to make was that the prince, Prince Wellamika, of course, we know from our original save that we don't speak of, he is playing for Azol. We, of course, signed him for £29,000 in our first season in this series. But it'll be interesting to play against him. Hopefully he doesn't, doesn't punish us with ghouls today. It's team talk time. And we are going to say we should be winning this one fairly comfortably. Play your own game and you'll win because Azol, as I said, are rock bottom of the league. It's half time and we haven't had a highlight again. H have we had a highlight this entire episode? I don't think we had a highlight in the last game. What? what's going on it's it's nil nil clearly and I, i'm gonna say i'm not happy with the performance out there yet again and i think i think it might be time to do our little alteration to the tactic not that i know whether it, it really works or not but varan mother moving up into central attack and midfield rating wise like not nothing real bad's happening K kieran das is on a seven what's going on with das he never gets good ratings like this He's a changed man, a changed man here in Das. Kumar Singh again struggling in goals, 6.5, but like he's not conceded a goal or anything. So I, I guess that's just because he's not really had anything to do. It's quite frustrating this. I don't know what options we, we've got. Shalil on the bench. He, we, of course, scored in his debut, but I mean, Christian Sabah should be doing... Maybe he's not getting the service. I don't know. Hopefully Mather can, can create some stuff in attacking midfield in the second half. We have a highlight. First one of the episode. Collie has intercepted a throw in. Mother plays it to Sabah. Now Mother's got the ball back again. Just ball playing with the three centre midfielders. Ball playing? That does not sound right. We'll, we'll ignore that innuendo. Bupathi with the ball forward, cleared by their defender, headed back to the danger area, but it falls to Azol and they get the ball away again with the Prince. And that's cleared by Das. And it falls to Suhail Pasha. Last season's Young Player of the Month, Suhail Pasha, just wide, but better. We created something. We had a chance. 64 minutes gone, just about, and we are going to make a change. Christian Sabah having an awful time of it today. So he's going to come off, and we're going to bring on that youngster again, see if he can do what he did last time and get a goal for us, the 16-year-old. Jishnu Balakrishnan not having the best of times at right back, but we will keep him there because Martin Eugene isn't really generally much better. 
So it's Suhail Pasha with the ball on the right-hand side. He loses it, but wins it back nicely. Dribbles past one, cuts inside. It's Suhail Pasha. He's missed again. That would have been a stunning goal. She took on the entirety of their defense. We've yet to have a shot on target. Time is getting away from us. Under 10 minutes to go now. And I, I, what am I going to do? Bupathi, bring VJN on. That's not really a change that's going to make much of a difference, I don't think. Who, who have we got on the bench? We've got Francis on the bench. Do we bring Francis on? We bring Francis on f out of position for Collie. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that because Collie's looking a bit tired. And then... Or do I do no? We'll we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there, and we'll we'll switch the mentality up to attacking as well, and see if we can manage to get a shot on target today. At the least, it's not it's not coming. It's not happening. It's nil nil. It's another nil nil draw. Three nil nil draws in a row. We didn't have one shot on target in that game. That is terrible. I'm gonna thrash my arms again. Say it wasn't good enough. No excuses for not winning that sort of match. Things aren't looking great for this qualification year. We're, we're, we're sitting in sixth. We've, we've played we've played more games than everyone below us. We are, we're on nine points. If Delhi pick up a win in their game, they go above us. Hopefully they drop points. Uh, that, that's what we're going to be relying on now. We're going to be relying on teams around us, or teams below us even, to drop points. And that, it's, it's not great. Hopefully we can sneak into the, the qualification spots and then have a, a better last 10 of the games of the season so looking ahead to the next episode and what i'm going to do is i'll just play the one game offline we'll play the game against Kashmir fc offline and then we'll come back for what could be some two vital matches in our push for the championship group stage of the hero i league against mohammedan who are currently third and indian arrows who are eighth they're one of the teams that could be chasing us from the bottom of the league but that is it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel to get all my content when it comes out, hit the notification bell to stay notified, and I'll see you next time.